Okay, so good. Uh, hello everyone. So we're here for our lesson 9. This one is for hypothesis testing or uh, physical inference for two sample set or sample uh, sample from two population. So let's go to the PPT. Uh, this is chapter 10 of the book, the sixth edition of Montgomery and uh, Ranger. So we have chapter 10 already during the discussion in, of the uh, intervals for two sample population. Okay, so, yeah, so uh, I showed I show this slide uh, previously para dun sa two samples na confidence interval. So, the same assumption, we have two population where we can get a random sample. We note it as x11 to x1n and x21 to x2n for population 1 and population 2 respectively. This both uh, population or the population x1 and x2 are independent and uh, we assume that they are normal. So, we want to determine the uh, sorry Go back, go back. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, pointer back. Okay, want to determine the expected value and the variance of that population. For uh, inference or statistical test for two uh, sample, uh, two population with follows normal distribution with known variance, you can use the C table and use this uh, formula. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we can we can use that. Uh, we can use this. Uh, we can use this formula. And technically, they have normally distributed with mean value of zero and a standard deviation of. So, for our null hypothesis here, so we will use mu1 minus mu2 is uh, equal to your specified de uh, delta and the statistical test is your C table. So, you have three potential alternatives where using this one as two-side uh, hypothesis testing. This is this two is for one-sided hypothesis testing. This is to the right, and this is to the left. So you can get the p-value for this one, and this is our rejection criteria. Okay? So this is an example. The same lang din to nung sa uh, single sample hypothesis test. And you follow the seven step, follow the formula, and utilize the criteria. So let's have the example. Product developer is interested in reducing the drying time of a primer. Two formulation with formulation 1 and formulation 2 is being developed. The, one, the first one is a standard chemistry formulation and formulation 2 is uh, the new drying ingredients. From experience, it's known that the standard deviation of drying is 8 minutes and uh, this inherent variability should be unaffected by the addition of new ingredients. So, 10 specimens are painted with formulation 1 and another 10 specimens are painted with formulation. The 20 specimens are painted in random orders to sample with average drying time. So, ito yung for the first sample, 121 minutes. And this one is for the second sample, 112 minutes respectively. What conclusion can the product developer draw about the effectiveness of the new ingredients using a uh, significant level of 0 0.05. So basically, ang parameter of inference natin ay the difference in the drying time, your mu1 minus mu2. And this difference should have no impact in uh, drying. Okay? So, kaya delta not is 0. The null hypothesis is that the difference is equal to 0 and the null hypothesis is should be uh, greater than 0 or mu1 is greater than mu2. Okay, so the statistical test is C, 
si test and the, the difference delta not is zero so plug in lang lahat kasi given ka ng sigma pareho yung sigma given ka ng given ka ng n pareho yung n for 1 and 2 and the, the re rejection is that when the p value is less than 0 0.05 so for the computation so we calculated so direct for, uh, substitution sa formula 2.52 and this value when you calculate the p value this is 0 0.0059 which is less than the p value of 0 0.05 therefore we will reject ho at 5% significant level or 0 0.05 significant level. Now, interpretation, we can conclude that adding the new ingredients to the paint significantly reduce the drying time of the paint. Okay? So, you can do two-side alter alternative and one-side alternative to calculate the difference. Okay, the difference for type 2 error choice. So, pag two-side, ito naman yung pag-compute ng number of sample size pag single side to yung uh, pag compute so same lang din halos nung sa uh, single sample set kaibahan lang difference to difference yung kinukuha nila okay so for uh, choosing a sample size you can have this uh, simplified calculation where the inference for difference in mean of two normal distribution with known variance so remember to round up your n is not an integer. So, ensure that the level of confidence does not drop below the 0, 100 times 1 minus alpha percent. Okay? Okay, now, for hypothesis testing on difference in mean with variance unknown, and we have two cases for this one. The first case is that we assume that the variance of the two population are the same. And we can uh, conclude that they are just equal to sigma squared. So the full estimator is denoted by sp and we can calculate for sp squared or the variance for the full estimator as using this formula. And the quantity, so unknown yung variance natin. Ha? This is unknown. So pag unknown, t-test ang ginagamit. Meaning we will utilize the uh, sample statistics or the variance of the sample is statistic and this sp here is calculated using the variance of the two uh, sample statistic okay degrees of freedom is n1 plus n2 minus 2 okay null hypothesis for uh, this type of problem is that your uh, mu1 minus mu2 is equal to your delta 0. And the test statistic, usually 0 to. And the test statistic is t-test and take note sp siya. Ito yung alternative pag, uh, pag two-sided, uh, basically probability above or below your t naught or negative t naught. Take note that the alpha here is alpha over or yung, yung degrees ay yung sa pagkukuha ng t-tables, yung t-value or t-critical. For alternative, using single side or one side uh, alternative hypothesis testing, so greater than or less than, so pag above, greater than, pag below, less than. And same, alpha lang yung gagamitan dun sa t-test. So let's have this example. So we have two catalysts, one and two, that uh, being utilized for the reaction and this affect the yield of a chemical process. So specifically catalyst 1 is currently in use and currently then you develop or this catalyst 2 is uh, the new catalyst. Since catalyst 2 is cheaper, uh, we want to know if this is acceptable in terms of uh, yield. So, a test is run in the pilot plant and result in the data shown in this table. Okay, table. Then, we have how many observations? Eight. So, kada sample set. Pareho. The mean value and the standard deviation are being uh, given already or calculated for, for you guys. Okay. So, we follow the seven step pa din ng hypothesis testing. So, we have parameter of interest, which is the mu1, mu2 for catalyst 1 and 2, 
and the null hypothesis, we want to say that these two catalysts is the same. And the alternative, they're not the same. So, in test statistic, we use we use t-test. Okay? <laughs> Reject HO when p-value is less than 0 0.05. Yun yung significant yun. So, first, we get all the table, calculate the SP using the formula. So, it's 7.32 uh, Baria, uh, that's the variance, SP squared, your standard deviation is 2.72. So, calculating, pasok lahat dun sa T formula, and the value is negative 0 0.032. So, this value, if you get this uh, value sa uh, table 5, yung sa appendix, we, we know that that P value is between 0.5 to 0.5. 80. Pero tingnan nyo na lang dito. Makita nyo yung, yung degrees of freedom ay 14. Ito ay mm, 14. Ito yung degrees of freedom, 0.25 tsaka 0.4. 0. 0. So between that one, that's 0. 0.258 to 0.695 ang value natin ay ah, sorry ang value na nakuha is 0.35 so we conclude that lower and upper bound on the p value are 0.5 to 0.8 therefore since the p value exceed the 0 0.05 value the null hypothesis hypothesis cannot be rejected so an interpretation at 5% level of significance we have no strong evidence to conclude that catalyst 2 results in a mean yield that differs from mean yield when you use catalyst 1. Mean up. Okay? So, for the second case naman, so meaning uh, this one, unknown variants, but they are not the same. Hindi pareho yung variants ng population. So, we cannot use SP, but we can use this one to calculate for the degrees of freedom for the degrees of freedom of we can use this value for the degrees of freedom using your sample statistics okay ang degrees of freedom is n1 plus n2 minus 2 pa rin pareho lang pareho lang yung degrees of freedom natin with this one okay so Let's have this problem. So, arsenic concentration in public drinking water supply is a potential health risk. An article in Arizona Republic reported drinking water arsenic concentration in parts per billion for 10 metropolitan Phoenix community and 10 community in rural Arizona. The data is shown, their X bar and significant. Uh, uh, this one is the standard deviation has already been calculated. We're asked to determine if there are any difference in mean arsenic concentration between metropolitan Phoenix community and community in rural Arizona. Okay, so seven step ulit. Pareho-pareho lang. Sabi sa inyo, paulit-ulit lang yung, yung gagawin nyo. Ang kailangan nyo lang alamin, ano yung test statistic, ano yung type ng problem, ano yung parameters na kailangan nyo, then you construct your null alternative hypothesis and the rejection. So parameter of interest, the mean value should be uh, determined and we want to know if they have no difference. So, null hypothesis is that uh, they are equal. Ang, ang alternative hypothesis not equal. Test statistic is the t-test pa rin. Delta is zero. So, zero yung delta dito. Then, we know that we, they have different uh, variants. Mal malayo yung yung uh, standard deviation. So, we cannot use the the, the previous uh, calculation, but we can use the second formula using this one as the degrees of freedom and using this t-test value. So, we'll reject. So, kinumpit na. So, formula lang. Ipasok nyo lang lahat. Then, dun yung value. Okay? Dun yung value. Then, therefore, using the alpha and fixed significant level, we will reject your null hypothesis if your uh, T calculated is greater than 2.160. So, ito yung critical. Or, pag negative, negative 2.163. Okay?
Okay. Let's proceed. So, calculating the t-value, given lahat, negative 2.7. So, t-value is negative 2.77. This is less than negative 2.160. Therefore, we will reject the null hypothesis. Interpretation, we can conclude that the mean arsenic concentration in rural Arizona is different from the metropolitan Phoenix drinking water. Okay? So, you can do the calculation for uh, error also and the amount of uh, sample needed if you want to have a better calculation. Okay, so we'll end here and we'll continue for the next part.